so for the record greg is making wrong turns in the parking deck and this is otherwise known as the great parking fiasco of 2023 <laughs> but we've made it all the way to the top of the parking deck and i don't think there's going to be any parking so <laughs> we might have to figure out where we're going to go um yeah okay again um today is january the 18th and we're going to meet the breast surgeon again for consultation and hopefully to be deciding like surgical procedures and when i'm having surgery and stuff like that so yeah i'll keep you guys posted um just feeling a little emotional a few minutes ago but i'm pulling myself together so i'm okay right now and yeah i'll let you know what's happening Here, a little higher. That's that's the cancer. That's primary cancer. Mm -hmm. We're not that that is in the axilla. That's a lymph node. We already that's knew the lymph node. That's one. Right. That's one. Right. Just keep, pay attention. See, there's another one. Mm -hmm. There's two others. Yeah. See that really lights up. Yeah. With that. There's no other lymph nodes. There's none in here. There's none up in your neck. The only other thing that they show is this little thing. You really don't see it very well. It's a three millimeter old nodule in the lung. Okay. Little. Thing. So what do you think? It doesn't it doesn't take that up. It doesn't take so that, that's a good sign. That's, that's a good, good sign. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here's next, what okay. we thought was 3.3, three, thereabouts, now 5.9, oh, 2.3, so, so it's bigger. It is bigger. And enhancement in the lower outer right breast is suspicious. Consider MRI guide biopsy is not planning to undergo a mastectomy. Uh -huh. But it begs a bigger question is should we give you chemotherapy first? Okay. Okay. And, and testing too, yeah. So, okay. so several been just us. So, yeah, if it's deemed that we think that you would want chemotherapy afterwards, it's actually better to give it to you first for the mere reason that if I remove all this stuff and then you do the chemotherapy, I don't know if it's working or not. Right. If it's you all gone. do it now, you see if there's shrinkage. Right. And you can hopefully maybe you can do less surgery. You gotta look at this. I look at this as this year you're gonna be treated for breast cancer. Yeah. And always. Yes. Chemotherapy, surgery, reconstruction, radiation therapy, at the end of the year, you're gonna be all done. This is January. Okay. That's what you gotta look at. Yeah, no, that's that's kind of what I'm planning. I plan on this year to be. It's just like, it's just kind of, okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're not dying. Overall, is there a difference in outcomes mm -hmm. with lobular versus ductal cancer? No, but it's no worse. No, okay. it's no worse. It's just you end up with. This is it's generally a very hormone, strongly hormone responsive cancer, and they generally have what are called low recurrence scores. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so. Um, we left the appointment. Um, it's been a couple hours now. Um, I had to come with my husband to a, a job that he's looking at. So, um, so I'm just sitting in the truck. So I figured this was a good time to kind of update you guys on what my surgeon said today. So the appointment went really, really well. Um, I really like the surgeon. The surgeon is He's a super nice guy. He's been in um, in his field for a very long time, and he just has a lot of knowledge. And I just feel very confident in, you know, what he had to say today. Um, so, um, initially when I went in, he talked about um, my PET scan. So I know I've talked to you guys about this. I had a PET scan done a few weeks ago um, to see if my cancer had spread anywhere else. 
Now, in the report, and I had seen this, but I did not talk about it because I just what I was trying not to like uh, turn it into something that it wasn't. So, um, there was a small nodule that was on uh, my right lung that lit up a little bit, but not very much. Um, so basically it was indeterminate is what they called it. It's a very, very tiny spot. The, um, the surgeon was not concerned about it because basically that was the only place that sort of lit up outside of the breast area, um, for cancer. So that was the only thing that could have been a concern, but the doctor said he's not concerned. So that's really good news. Um, so it is not stage four. Um, that's great. But what we did find out, not from the PET scan, but from the breast MRI that I had done, was that my tumor is much larger than we anticipated. And so it is six centimeters by 2.2 centimeters by 3.3 centimeters which is pretty large. And so in context of a breast, it's so much of the space there. Like, I don't know, I'm just making up a space, but let's just say it's this big, okay? That's a pretty, a pretty big area. And then when they take out, you know, cancerous areas, they always take extra to make sure that they're getting clear margins, you know, so that they're not just taking the cancer, they're taking anything a little bit around the cancer too. And if the tumor is already that large, that means they're just going to have to take even more tissue. And that is my breast tissue. And I don't necessarily want them to just cut everything away. So, and they don't want to do that either. Um, there are, are also still multiple lymph nodes involved, which we knew. Um, it looks like there's just a variation in potentially how many. So we know there's three, but there could be up to six maybe that are involved. And so, you know, obviously when I do have a surgery, they're going to be taking a lot of my lymph nodes as well. So in regards to surgery, I'm not having surgery right now. I will be starting with chemotherapy first. Um, because of the size, again, they want to try to shrink the tumor as small as possible before they start doing any cutting into my body. And I appreciate that. Um, so, obviously, I'm not looking forward to chemotherapy, but that is what's going to be happening here very soon. Hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, so one other thing I do want to mention really quick is the breast MRI also showed that there is potentially a second tumor um, also in my right breast. So, and it's it's smaller, but it is obviously a second tumor. And so we, we just have to just be a little bit more aggressive with trying to shrink those tumors down before they do surgery. So I am waiting for the medical oncology team to call me to set up an appointment and I'm sure they will call me in the next couple of days, um, probably by tomorrow. Usually they call back really, really quickly. So um, they'll call me, we'll get that appointment set up. I'm hoping that'll be next week sometime. We'll go over a plan and then I'll have to have a port placed at some point, um, which that usually happens fairly quickly too, from my understanding. So I suspect, I'm just guessing, that in the next three to four weeks, I'll be starting chemotherapy. I do think it'll still take three or four weeks, um, even though I think that's kind of quick. So, um, so either way, I have a few weeks to prepare. Um, you know, I'm not shocked by this news. I knew that I would be having chemotherapy at some point. I just didn't know if it was going to be now or if it was going to be later. So in this case, it's just going to be sooner. Um, so I just have to get ready for that and, you know, keep on with my keto diet. Um, I'm going to have a little fasting protocol that I'll be doing leading into my chemotherapy treatments. I don't know all the details of that yet, but I, I will have that and I'll share that with you guys um, in another video, but there will be some stuff leading up to that. So, so yeah, I mean, I feel 
I feel okay about, you know, everything that we talked about as far as the chemo today. I don't know any details of what chemos or any of that. That will all be discussed with medical oncology. But after chemo, I will then be able to have you know, a surgery. So the surgery then after that will more than likely consist of a single mastectomy um, with a, another reconstruction later down the road they, because I also have to have radiation therapy as well. Um, and they don't want to do any reconstruction when they're going to be blasting it with the radiation because they don't want to destroy, you know, what, what work they have done. Um, so the reconstruction procedure will come after radiation and the reconstruction procedure that I'm going to have done is, is where they, is called a deep flap where they take, um, you almost get like a tummy tuck. <laughs> They're taking, um, a large chunk of skin and fat tissue from your abdomen and then they are going to be using that to reconstruct the breast so that it will have a more natural feel and that I won't have an implant in there that could potentially be hiding cancer down the road. Um, you know, we don't, obviously we don't want cancer to reoccur, but if it were to reoccur or there was be something that, a cell that was left behind and it started to reproduce, we just don't want that to be hidden. I, this is me personally, this is not the doctor, but I don't want it to be hidden behind an implant. I already know how difficult it is to see this type of cancer on imaging, and I just don't want it to be even more difficult if we have to run across this again down the road. Um, so, so yeah, currently that is the tentative plan. This plan will take approximately all of 2023 to complete. Um, there will be at least two surgeries, multiple rounds of chemotherapy, and many rounds of radiation. So yeah, it's going to be a full year. I haven't had time to kind of digest all that. I wanted to kind of get a video out, at least just talk and say, you know, get all the information out <laughs> of my head so that I could not forget anything. Um, I know I'm saying um a lot. Okay, so yeah, I'm feeling good about today. As good as you can feel about, you know, having cancer, obviously. Um, I'm just trying to take it in stride. The doctor was really positive. He assured me more than once that I was going to get through this that this was not going to take my life, that, you know, we, we have a lot of things that we can do to treat it. So, so I feel really good about that. You know, I'm just not looking forward to the treatments themselves. You know, that's, I think that's the hardest part is you know that the treatments that you have to go through for all this, you know, they damage you and they, they hurt you and they make you sick and they just change you down to your basic biology, you know, your, your cellular level, you know, they're, they're damaging it in some way. And that just, you know, it's, it's just a weird thing to think about. And you have to, you know, kind of put yourself on the chopping block for that kind of thing, you know, like voluntarily having your body parts removed. That's a weird thing. <laughs> Yeah, volunteering for these kind of medical treatments that you know are going to cause you a lot of pain and discomfort. It's just hard because you become, especially with chemo, you just become a walking billboard for it, you know. It's literally written all over your face. And you know, i got to contend with like losing my hair. It, it's just a very personal because it just seems like 
and not with all cancers, and I'm not saying breast cancer is like different than other cancers. I don't know. I don't know how to speak to any of those. It just seems like it's everything is so visible with breast cancer. Like it's so right there where it's like, oh, you know, one of your breasts is gone. Oh, your hair is gone. Oh, your, you know, I don't know. It just feels very not hideable, you know. <sighs> All right. I know these feelings will pass. I'll feel better later. I just, every time I go to the doctor, I'm just super emotional. There's just so many new little bits of information, and then you just, you got to submit to all of it, you know. You just have to just let it happen to you, in a way. I mean, you get some decisions and some things, but in a way, you just kind of got to let it happen, and, uh, yeah, that's scary. So, all right. I'm going to go, guys. I got to pull myself together. I need to call some of my family and I talk to them and let them know what's going on. So, I'll keep you guys posted um, as soon as I know more. So, yeah. See you next time.